Hi guys, in this section we will be discussing about the UML interreaction overview diagram. Now what is this? It is almost similar to your activity diagram but this provides you a high level of abstraction and interaction model. It is a variant of the activity diagram of course where the nodes are interactions or the interaction occurrences are captured. The interaction overview diagram <coughs> focuses on the overview of the flow of control of interactions which can also show the flow of activity. Okay. Now, in other words, you can link up the real diagrams and achieve a high degree of navigability between diagram inside the interaction overview diagram. Now, if you have to see an interaction overview diagram at a glance, the interaction overview diagram is one of those 15 types of diagrams in unified modeling language and you can see the picture how it comes. Although most of the things you have already learned in the activity diagram, but this is how the notations are done. So in a nutshell, what are the key elements which you need to remember for this interaction overview diagrams? Our initial node, you can see an initial node over here, right? Then you can see a decision node. What is a decision node? It represents a test condition with multiple possible outcomes. Okay. So, if there is an yes or no, in this particular case, you can see approved or not approved. Depending upon the situation, this de decision node will work. There can be a merge node. Merge node is similar to fork or join nodes where you represent parallel flows in the system, or you can also say that it is coming and merging. If there are two or three things which are merging and then you are going to the merge node and then when you are coming out of those, it can be fork or join nodes to represent a parallel activity that is happening over here, isn't it? Now the activity can also end with a final node, right? So if you are giving something as final node and then you refer to that. Uh, through a connection that will be the final load. So, it is exactly similar to your activity diagram just that few things are little different but the usage may be different when you want to visualize the flow of interaction and understand how different interactions are fitting together in a system then you will be using this. When you need to combine multiple interaction diagrams into a cohesive and understandable flow then you will be using this. But what will be the difference between interaction overview, activity and sequence diagram, right? That is something you need to know. Now interaction overview focuses on flow of control where nodes can be interactions or interaction uses. It is like combining activity and sequence diagram to show a high level view of interactions and their flow. But in activity diagram, what do you do? You represent the flow of activities and is mainly used to depict the flow of control in a system. And that focuses on the sequence and condition of the flow, right? So, and what, what, what happens if you go to the sequences? It focuses on the order in which the messages are processed, showing interaction between the objects in time, sequential manner, isn't it? So that is the primary difference between interaction overview, activity and sequence. Now the elements will also slightly differ in interaction overview. You will see that it contains elements from both activity and sequence diagram. Most of the things what you see will be coming from activity as well as the sequence diagram. It is usually using your initial final decision and then merge, fork, whatever you have seen in activity are here, right? But in activity, you will see you are just using initial, final, decision, merge, fork, join, all those kind of things. And what do you use in the sequences? The lifeline and the messages. So this is the primary difference which you can uh, think 
and that should be good enough and from the granularity uh, level if you start thinking the interaction overview is about a high level view that encompasses multiple interaction diagrams and what does activity do it will be focusing on the flow of activity with specific function or process but sequence focuses on the detailed order of the messages between objects so this is just to give you see this is almost a repetition but the differences if you know the differences you will be able to use it in a different way according to the requirement of your project now when you want to see the bigger picture of how multiple interactions are fitting together in a system you use interaction overview diagram but if you are say for example you want to understand the flow control in a specific function or process then there are conditional flows and parallel activities right which you need to capture then use activity and sequence of course you will be using for understanding the detailed interaction between objects especially the order in which these interactions are occurring now in essence while all the three diagrams are used to visualize interactions and flow in the system they differ in their focus granularity and specific element use the interaction overview diagram is a bridge between sequence and activity diagram which provides a high level view of the system interaction so here you can see i have scheduled a inspection for this house and it is less than a week and this is a telling from the starting point what is happening if the inspection happens if it is approved if it is not approved what happens and finalize the inspection report and print the report this is just a very simple one i have not i am not drawing a new one for this particular case because this is almost similar to your activity and then you can relate with the sequence as well thanks guys i hope this clears your interaction overview diagram let's go to the next section